So this clip has sparked some controversy within the Halo community. Yo, soaring out front C. Nice. Oh, uh, B rail, B rail. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One shot. Oh, oh yeah, right here, right here. One shot. Let's go. Behind us, behind us, behind us, behind us, I think. Now, when you first look at this, you're probably like, what? It's just like guy popping off in Halo. We see this all the time. The problem is, is that they title this Smurfin' Vibin'. Just so that we're all on the same page, what Smurfing means is when a player makes an alternate account, which you think, okay, no problem there either. You can make as many accounts as you like. But since that is a brand new account, they'll oftentimes play a little bit at their lower skill level, meaning these really good players can sometimes get into really bad player lobbies and just kind of beat up on them, which is exactly what happened within this clip if you guys like these type of discussion videos make sure you tap like let me know you want to see some more content i guess if you're part of that 80 some odd percent people who are watching channel who are not subscribed well you know what to do then to keep up to date with everything going on with halo now there are two sides to this argument right here when it comes to having a smurf account making smurf accounts and also not bothering with them at all so let's hear this guy out why did he actually make this smurf account well he actually stated right here in twitter saying that he made the account for going from bronze to onyx but then just kind of capped it and then the account kind of turned into hopping on with buddies who are not as high skilled as him for just playing around effectively stating that is because of skill-based matchmaking he goes ahead and makes the smurf account that's at a lower skill bracket so he can play with his friends and their friends don't get completely demolished which i've personally come across a situation where i have a group of friends where i like to play halo with i'm the better player out of the group by probably about a full tier of skill level because i'm generally about a high tier diamond player when i really go in and they're more like gold tier maybe platinum players so when i play with my friends i bring all the sweaties on board and we go on these massive losing streaks because my friends just can't keep up with the players i'm playing with and it's no knock on my friends they just don't invest the amount of time that i put into playing halo but i've actually made a smurf account I completely forgot what it is now at this point but really just so i can play with my friends and not bring in the sweaties and when i do that it actually works i can hop on and play some casual matches and play it like it's actually casual not unranked ranked matches like skill-based matchmaking tends to do in halo infinite so when i'm playing on that account i'm not really trying i'm kind of running around having some fun trying out new things and just you know practicing specific skill sets and things like that not really going in to try to optimize my gameplay where in the clip that we showed earlier he's sweating dude making try hard call outs going for these huge kill streaks and things like that against lower skilled players which you can see are just running down in the open not really shooting back it's not really fair to those players this is exactly why we have skill based match where i can put in the game to help these players who are not as skilled or as seasoned as these senior players and preventing those better players from stomping on lesser players and this is why i completely agree with having skill based matchmaking within the game what i don't agree with when it comes to skill based matchmaking is having this hidden number that we can't really tell what skill bracket we're in and if we're actually improving and having that same skill number that's hidden apply to all the playlists within the game because I don't play ranked Slayer the same way as I play Team Slayer. Or I don't play Team Slayer the same way as I play Infection. So when I see a guy like this, who is clearly a good player, kind of stomping on less season lesser players, I'm just like, man, really? Like, that's kind of unfair to them, don't you think? And the thing is, like, you post this clip on Twitter because you're like, hey, I really popped off. I did a great thing. Or maybe it's just doing to showcase the flaws within the system that 343 has set up. But you're either one, gonna ruin the whole, like, alt account smurf account thing so you can actually play casually with your friends and just completely ruin that if 343 clamps down on this or two you're just trying to show how good you are compared to lesser players and we had notable community members jump in and comment on this because it's going around the entire community right now and sorry enough we have ice people saying come on man what's the reason why would you ever need to intentionally put yourself in the silver lobbies like this and they stated what we talked about earlier elite falcon one of the best forgers out there saying imagine intentionally ruining players experiences in a game for no reason other than self-validation popular twitch streamer friend of the channel as well red gear on here saying nice obliterating the enemy team that isn't anywhere near your skill level real selfish and unimpressive and the list goes on you get the point point. and the thing is that like yeah like we have social matchmaking within this game for a reason for when you're jumping in the lobbies and you want to play with your friends but don't want to play against the sweaty kids while well, you just jump into social so it doesn't really matter but again like we talked about earlier the way the skill base 
various matchmaking works within the game that it will put you in the sweaty lobbies in social matches where it basically feels like the same experience compared to ranked to unranked. We covered this in a previous video about Max Hoberman, the guy who helped create Halo 2 and Halo 3's online matchmaking system, which back then it felt pretty good, right? Did go on to Twitter a while ago stating that we also did track skill such level globally only per playlist the net result was that unranked matchmaking allowed a wide range of skill levels to match together for what everyone agreed was casual inconsequential fun but what 343 does is that they use that global number across all playlists so that you know exactly who you're playing against at the same skill bracket every single time so i feel like this kind of comes up into that situation of do you just allow players to make smurf accounts and basically do as this player here online did best beating up on lesser skilled players do you ban alternate accounts do you have to verify the accounts in some kind of way this isn't an issue with free-to-play shooters ultimately i think it's fine to let players make smurf accounts maybe if there's some kind of way 343 can have it so then players can make it main, as many accounts as they want but they have to maybe verify in some kind of way and tie it to their main account so then that spm gets used anyways which i don't even know that 343 even has that kind of bandwidth to pull something like that off i will say that the matchmaking system right now does have a pretty good capability ability of recognizing when a player is smurfing say they throw the first few games just so the matchmaking algorithm thinks that they're a terrible player they get thrown to a bronze tier silver tier type of lobby overperform like an insane mad lad then they'll be thrown into the higher bracket soon after so a clip like we saw in this one could just be more of just one clip in a specific situation but not a systematic problem because as myself who is an above average player like we talked about earlier when i play with my friends i bring in the sweaties we go on huge losing streaks and it's not really that fun of a time for some reason the skill-based matchmaking really struggles when it comes to having a fire team of varying skill levels now i do believe that they try to level it out in some kind of way some kind of find like a general average or a mean if you would but i would say from my experience it hasn't really worked out super well so i feel like it's kind of one of those situations where it's like hey the player not the game or hate the game and not the player in whatever way you think it works you have to know 343 recognizes that people do exactly this and they just need to find some kind of way to have a catch safe so then when players do do these kind of activities within the game because players will do whatever it takes for them to feel better at the game to kind of cheat the system in a way to kind of break the game this is all the times why with brand new accounts you have to play x amount of games before you can play a ranked match though i'm sure there are plenty of people out there who genuinely use two accounts and they just want to have two accounts Accounts, one for maybe their stat kind of perfect gameplay style and one for more of their social kind of whatever play around the kind of experience from my experience when i come across people who are smurfing or at least i assume they are by you looking at their username for the most part either they are in the game to troll or to not really try as they should overall like yeah i it's a problem. Smurfing's a big issue within this game right now, and they have to figure out like what is 343 going to do to try to resolve it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments section down below. I do read all the comments. And if you have a Smurf account, let us know why, because I'm actually kind of curious to see why people do these kind of activities, because I mainly just play on my main account. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out the video right here. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.